What is going on, y'all? Connor with Rock Pokemon here with a very special three-card CGC return. So this return was sent and received by CGC on the 21st of December uh, as a standard order, which is um, billed, I think at the time was billed around 30 days to come back. And today is the... 17th or 18th there was a martin luther king it got delivered today so um pretty rapid turnaround for cgc uh really stoked to show you all this these are actually not pokemon they are weiss schwartz i am super stoked three sps that i was able to pull myself from the seven deadly sins set so wanted to unbox this on camera because it's actually the first time that I am receiving cards back directly from CGC. So I've always used a middleman for everything previously, um, but right now I am working directly with CGC via a membership. So let's get this bad boy open. As you can see, I have a bunch more CGC cards in the background. Um, stay tuned for the videos on that. But we get this open here, bumping the camera all around. One second. Really, really stoked to show you all this. Thought it'd be cool to uh, open it up on camera if I can actually get the box open. Just so y'all can see what it looks like to get a return straight back from the company. There we go. All right, try not to destroy my mat. All righty, so let's see what they've got in here for me. I would fast forward here, but I am not that skilled, so let me just cut this. So these three, two were from a uh, the booster boxes, and one was from the uh, theme deck. For Seven Deadly Sins, a Weiss Schwartz set based on in a fairly recent anime um, that I have, have really enjoyed. So, okay. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this my other order? Um, okay, hang on going on here so oh wow this this is my economy order this is what this is my economy order oh my gosh what so where's that is so interesting so it's I've seen the grades for my Weiss Schwartz cards and it said that they were shipped back, but instead I got my economy order that I sent together with the standard. So economy is supposed to be slower. Um, this was a seven card order. So where is my standard if the grades are already in? The grades aren't displayed online for this. I don't know what's going on. We're gonna we're gonna look at them anyway. Um, so the first one is, I think I did these in order. This is gonna be the Chansey that I pulled on my birthday. Um, oh my gosh, you got the nine point five. Oh no way. Okay, this is weird because I'm doing this on camera and I haven't I haven't seen any of these grades. Um, this is my first time seeing these cards. Holy cats, 9.5 on centering, nine on surface, 10 on corners, 10 on edges. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Chancy! Y'all remember, I pulled this on my birthday from my heavy base set Japanese pack. Holy cats, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I mean, I'm freaking out about where my where my other cards are, but holy cats. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, 
Um, next is, oh, geez. Then this is the Blastoise I pulled on my birthday when I opened a second pack when I got home really late and said, screw it, let's do it. Um, let's see, can I zoom in now to the... Okay, we're gonna zoom in now. Oh, and got the eight. So seven and a half on surface. Gonna have to figure out what the heck happened there. Um, obviously keeping this one because I pulled it on my birthday. That's totally cool, but wow. What the heck happened there? So the surface, surface got a, surface got a, oh, there it is, I see it. Surface got a 7.5. You can see on the back there, there's like a, there's like a crimp, there's like a, like a pressure line across on the back. I don't know if I can get it in. There you go. Y'all can see that. It's like a, it's like a pressure line across the back, not a full blown crease, but okay. So we got ourselves the uh, eight on the Blastoise. So let's zoom back out. It'll be better to see. All right. This is a uh, wild. Oh man. Then we've got the Dark Charizard. So this is the one that um, was pulled for me on Whatnot by Don Diego um, when she did her live box break at Bleaker Trading. Uh, bought a bunch of car box, uh, packs in that. Wow, I was not expecting this today. Okay. <laughs> oh! Let's go. I knew it. This was one of the cleanest cards I had ever seen. I knew it would potentially be a PSA 10. Holy cow. The CGC 9.5 with that freaking swirl, y'all. Let's take a look at that. Oh my goodness. Swirls for days right there. Fat in the center. Holy cow. We got a 9.5 on centering and surface. 9.5 on corners. 10 on edges. One of the cleanest I've ever seen. That's why I sent it economy and somehow it ended up back already. So holy cats. So we're, we're doing really hot so far. Holy goodness. Um, so that, okay. Oh, then I had a fun one. I pulled the, uh, pulled the Venusaur or uh, actually grabbed one, bought a Venusaur from 25th anniversary. Nice, got the nine. So eight and a half on surface. That's unfortunate because I really... Uh, actually felt pretty good about this other than centering. And uh, that's the only reason we got got down there on the nine. Otherwise, this is a really strong card. Nine on centering, which I, I knew. Um, eight and a half on surface, which is interesting. Let's zoom in there. Um, interesting. Wonder what held it back on the surface. Felt felt pretty good about this. Just, just bought a random one off eBay for not that much. Um, Interesting. I, these are wicked hard surfaces to, you know, assess, obviously, with the texture and everything. Uh, 10 on corners, 9.5 on edges. So, wow, that's, uh, that's an interesting slew of Pokemon. So, now we have... Why does it say Pokemon. Okay, that's weird. So on my description, it says Pokemon One for All Full Cowling Strike. Obviously, this is not Pokemon. This is um, My Hero Academia. So let's really hope the label doesn't say Pokemon or else this is going to become a real pen. Okay, okay, the label's right. We got a 9.5 on the Secret Rare One for All Cowling... 5% full cowling, 5% strike, My Hero Academia, uh, brand new TCG that came out through Jasco, uh, like second pack into my first box, first edition, pulled the Secret Rare 182 out of 180. We got the 9.5, so we got a 10 on centering, 9.5 on surface, 10 on corners, 9.5 on edges. So, Wow, this is becoming absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know what to say at this point. Um, was not expecting this. Wondering where my SPs are. Um, okay, so the next one is Harry Potter. Uh, I think I hit this on a whatnot stream. Just wanted to see how they would grade them because I have uh, a handful of these at Beckett. But card looked pretty good. It is one of the full silver hollow cards um, from Quidditch Cup. It is Oliver Wood. 
and we got ourselves an 8.5. So, sees, seems that we played that out. Sorry, there's some dust on here. So I always worry about the surface with these. We got a 10 on surface. We got an eight on edges. And I remember there being edge wear and I just didn't think they would be as severe on that as they were. So that's really interesting. That's super interesting. So centering surface and corners were pretty strong, but the edges with the eight, you can see there's definitely there's definitely more you know wear there so knew the edges were a problem thought it would swing an 8.5 there but what can you do um really really cool card to uh to test out see how you know they grade these new um or now that they're grading all the tcgs how it would come out so 8.5 there and then last but not least we have oh this is another pokemon this is the entei from uh, Neo 3 Awakening Legends that I pulled on my birthday as, is this the one I pulled on my birthday? Yeah, pulled on my birthday as well. Said, heck, let's throw it in, send it in, send it. Boom, got the nine, let's go. A really strong nine too, that should be a 9.5, my goodness. Nine and a half on centering, nine and a half on surface, nine on corners, nine on edges. Wow, wow, wow. I do not know uh, what to say right now. So we, <laughs> uh, was not expecting that at all. So, okay, so we, we got the, the back surface issue on the Blastoise here. Let's, let's, get these, let's get this out of the way. I need to figure out where the heck my white Schwartz SPs are, but let's get the box out of the way. I was kind of surprised how big the box was, but whatever. Let's zoom in here, so. Um, recap everything. So got ourselves the eight on the Blastoise from base set, but pulled this on my birthday. Cannot complain about that. Uh, just seems that we had a, a back issue there. Uh, as you can see, there's like a, a line on the back, which is really unfortunate because without that, you know, this is a, this is a eight and a half to nine card. So, but it is what it is. That happens. Then we got ourselves the nine on the Entei from Awakening Legends. Really stoked on that. I've been collecting this set in nine, so uh, that fits perfectly into my collection, a Sugimori classic. Then we had the 9.5, one for all, full cowling, 5% strike, secret rare, secret rare from the base first edition of My Hero Academia from Jasco. We got the 8.5 on Oliver Wood because the edges were trash, but otherwise strong subgrades. Got the nine on the YOLO uh, Venusaur from uh, 25th anniversary. One of my favorite, you know, my favorite starter big three and uh, just had to grab one in a slab. So that was fun to just send on in, see how it would do. And then two absolute monsters. A 9.5 on the Dark Charizard from Don Diego's What Not Break. And then an absolute monster of a card from base. Pulled this myself on my 30th birthday. The 9.5 on the Japanese base set Chansey. So there is a unexpected return for y'all. Not sure when this is gonna air. I'm going to have to call CGC sometime. I doubt they will pick up right now because it's like eight o'clock at night, but um, wow. I, I don't know what to say, y'all. This is quite an amazing return though. Really cool to see you know, them grading the new TCGs. So um, as you can see, uh, we were able to pull something really nice on the My Hero Academia. The Harry Potter did okay. Those edges really hurt us, but it was great to get that in a CGC slab as well. And then we had five Pokemon in here. So just going to go figure out where those white Schwartz cards are, y'all. So um, be well. And uh, as always, I'm Connor from Rock Pokemon. Collect what you love, but do it intelligently. See y'all soon.